Making CSO is easy. I've been doing it for over 25 years. Uh, the recipe is three parts of calcium carbonate chalk and one part of the superior oil of the old masters. Then you just, uh, you have to mix it first. And after you mix it, after you mix it, you have to grind it. If you're mixing, uh, that's not the same as grinding. Okay, now you're, you may want to add more oil, but you don't want to do that. You may want to add more chalk because uh, it takes time in the mixing stage here to get that powder I'm going to stop the film, and then I'm going to pick it up later. I added too much oil, so I'm going to add more chalk. Generally, it's three parts calcium carbonate powder and one part of oil, generally. So you just need to first mix. You don't want to see how thick it is. That does not mean you add more oil. This is the natural progression of making CSO. I'm going to stop the film. I have a film on YouTube that makes a CSO in live time. It is 12 minutes long. But here I've been... Shut off the video so I can not have you here for that long, which is already on YouTube. So you see, here it is. This is CSO. Now, I'm going to show you something in just a minute. So now that I've mixed, now I'm going to grind. When, you're bend, when your blade is bending, you're putting pressure, and now you're grinding. It just, it, it takes time to get the powder to absorb the oil. Yeah. And as it does, I can still see that it needs more chalk. It's just too liquid. So I'm gonna get the rest of this chalk and put it in there. I'm gonna stop the video. So I'm going between mixing and grinding, okay. Okay, so now this is more firm, but it's still absorbing the oil, so you'll see that it will become more liquid as I, as I grind. You can see it already. I'm gonna stop the video. It's much too liquidy, viscous. I'm gonna add more chalk. There's a delay in the mixing. The powder has to absorb the oil. And you have to grind after you mix. I'm gonna stop the oil, the, the movie again. You might think that I've added too much chalk. We're going to grind. We're going to mix and grind. As we talk, the chalk is absorbing the oil. As we talk, the chalk is absorbing the oil. 
I'm mixing. And in a moment, I'm going to grind. Now I'm grinding. I'm pressing really hard. And the powder is being absorbed by the oil. Stop the film again. Now I'm going to grind. Putting a lot of pressure on the knife. Now you can see how this slumps. Watch it spread. Just watch it spread. How it levels out. And even as I do this, the chalk is absorbing the oil. If I left this here, in fact, I'm going to, I'm going to pile this up so you can see what happens to this as I stop and walk away. So here's the CSO, the CSO. okay, and I piled it up, I'm going to stop the video. I timed it on my, my watch. And it uh, sat there for two minutes, but look at this. That's the way I used to make, that's the way I've always made for over 25 years, CSO. And I would mix this with my two oil paints. So now I'm going to do something special. I'm going to add two drops of GPM, which is glare paint medium, a simple mixture of glare. I already explained what glare is many times, egg white that's been frothed, distilled. And then there it is right there. And I have umber in the, in the I added dry pigment, not, not tube paint, don't add tube paint. You need dry pigment. Black, black for darkness, umber because it dries very fast. All right. I'm gonna stop the movie for just a minute. I'm going to reach in. I'm gonna reach in with this brush. Stir it around, dry pigment and egg glare. And then I'm gonna put Two drops first. Let's see what that'll do. Okay, now we got to get this out of the way. Now that I got, that's the egg glare, the egg glare medium. Look what's going to happen. 
to the CSO. What I am making here by doing this is called the brand new medium, the alternate CSO. This is CGM, CSO glare medium. You keep watching and you're gonna see the transformation from liquid to a malleable soft mixture. There, I even picked it up with my palette knife. Look at that. Now, let me show you something else. There it is. Now I'm going to actually pick it up with my hand. And there you are. C G M. I could never do that, this, with CSO. Impossible. I would have sticky fingers and it would get in everything. I can even roll this into a ball. And it's soft. It's like a piece of clay. All right, I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn off the video. Okay, CGM which I discovered on October the 2nd, 2023, is the first important discovery. I'm gonna put that right in here, and I'm gonna add oil. I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm gonna make a liquid. which would become the CGM Oil Out Medium. That's what this is, CGM Oil Out Medium. I am making the CGM Oil Out Medium. As soon as I mix the CGM with the oil, I'm gonna add a couple of drops Once I mix it, I'm going to add a couple of drops of the GPM, the glare paint medium, which is a dry pigment mixed with glare. Okay, now I'm mixing this up. It takes a little bit of work, but it's, it's actually fun. Yeah, teach this to your kids and they'll love it. Totally harmless totally safe, no hazards are ever used in the CSO. Okay, so I mixed this. Okay, now I'm gonna add two drops of the GPM to help this dry faster. My, here we are back to my GPM, and now I'm gonna put in Stir it around to ham with a GPM. Stir it around. I'm going to get a couple of drops. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stop the video for just a minute. Okay. Now the next thing is I'm going to mix that GPM, which is umber and black, into the mixture of oil previously mixed with CGM, calcite glare medium. So what we've done, this is a second discovery. The first was a CGM, the next one was the GPM, and then by combining CGM and GPM, I now have this wonderful, wonderful medium, oil out medium. It doesn't have a name, at least not yet. I'm confused enough with all the acronyms there, but, but this is all a new development. Maybe one day I'll name this oil out, but for the moment, no. 
Now, I'm going to, I'm going to use this, but not with this brush. I'm going to use another brush. This other brush had a little bit of blue in it, but doesn't matter. Previous mixture. So it turned kind of like bluish, but that's okay. Bluish, brownish. You know, one's cool, one's warm. So here I am with a soft hair brush. Now I'm going to, I'm going to paint over here in a little while. So watch me put on the medium, the oil out medium. I painted these flowers yesterday. And so today I'm going to rework them, but I'm showing you the transparency of this new oil out medium that was just created. Okay, very important. I'm gonna stop the, the movie for just a minute. You can use cheesecloth or you can use hospital gauze. We have to remove the excess of the oil out medium. You must remove the excess. It's a simple rub, very simple. Just go over where you put it and wipe it down. Well, I've got that CGM and I've broken it into pieces. I have some there with the brown, some with the white, some of the red and some of the yellow. So I'm going to uh, do the mix. It's effortless, really. The moment the oil from the tube paint meets the CGM, it makes it into a wonderful, wonderful alternative CSO oil theme. I cannot express to you the joy that I have found because of these two discoveries. So you saw that beautiful paint, beautiful paint. If you know the paintings of Lucian Freud, he died recently. He said, after all his years, and he was like, you know, old. Uh, I have stopped the video just to, to clean my knife. Please. So I was saying that, uh, see how there's the CGM. There's the red. Now I'm going to mix them together, grind them together. And the moment I do, we create a paint equal to CSO that I've used for over 25 years. But this has its own benefits. As you can read, as you can see on my videos that I've posted about CGM. I now have four videos, part one through four. Okay, I'll do the white last, but right now I want to get this brown, sienna brown. Lucian Freud said that after many years, he found out what the secret to the beauty of oil painting is. And it is, in fact, the paint itself. The same thing was said by Frederick Taubes, who died in 1980 in one of his books. He said, it is the paint itself that is the beauty of an oil painting. And this is the paint that they're speaking of. This is scientifically The uh, recreation of, I have to stop the film for the white. Okay, there's the white, and there's the CGM. Hard is almost like a rock, a watch. A little bit of pressure makes the two immediately 
you get the grind. The CGM is effortless. Okay, now, now that I have a few colors, I'm going to mix a few of them, and there you are. I'm going to mix a few of these colors. Okay. I'm going to create an orange color. So I want to go right, uh, right here. A little bit of red, not too much, or it'll overtake the yellow like that. Yeah, that's a good orange. Okay. Put my blade away. So there you are. Oops. Oh, my daughter going to make this orange like the real flower. All right. Painting into the oil out, the new oil out. When you do this, you're not going to believe it. It is truly a phenomenal method and discovery. And now I'd like to say, I have this deep feeling that all these great masters, Rembrandt, Rubens, Velasquez, they knew about this. They didn't write it down because in those years they didn't write a lot of stuff down. In fact, they had they had secrets, as Ernst von der Vettering has already pointed out. Ernst von der Vettering, of course, is the the highest oh, scholar on the part of Rembrandt. He passed away recently. All right, I'm going to stop this for a minute. Change brushes. I'm going to I'm going to um, Increase the color of the the seed pod that's in the middle of a sunflower. I'm just using pure. Sienna. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that to liven it up. And now with the same yellow mixed with some white into a pale yellow. 